Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips on how to build your self-confidence. So confidence is something a lot of females lack nowadays, of course, because society makes it seem like we all have to have big boobs, big butts, we all have to be skinny, have long hair, we have to have all these things to be beautiful but little do they know there's so many different ways we can be beautiful beauty comes in every different shades weight form you know we're all beautiful okay but girls don't really think that and a lot of females out there don't realize that they're beautiful when they're saying no females are beautiful okay so i'm going to give you guys a few tips on how to build your self-confidence because what is sexier than confidence nothing okay who doesn't like a guy or a girl with self-confidence i mean hello god step one look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're sexy you're sexy. Okay, we got that over with. Step two. Wear something that you look best in. Definitely not. Oh, hell no. Ooh, perfect. But you say that you tend to be in the best mood when you look your best. No, it really doesn't. I was just kidding. But I personally feel good when I'm looking my best. You know, I feel good right now, okay? I have on a nice shirt. You know, I took some time to put some makeup on and put my hair up in a bun for once, you know, because I'm always wearing my hair wild but I actually feel really good. So take my advice, you know, put on something that you really like wearing, whether it's a sweatshirt, okay? It could be your favorite sweater, your favorite tight dress, put on some red bottoms, do what you gotta do to make yourself feel great. If you don't feel great, you're not looking great. Step four, put on a little makeup. That's totally up to you. I know plenty of people who don't really take interest in putting on makeup. There are plenty of people out there who just don't really have a desire of wearing it, and that's okay, you know? But if you have a favorite facial feature, like if you really like your lips, if you really like your eyes, throw on a little bit of lip gloss, throw on some mascara, you know, there's so many different things you can do. Step five, just grab your negative, confidence killing thoughts. Just throw them in the trash. Get rid of them. Woo! Bye. I say that because I used to think so bad about myself. Um, I have a confession to make, I'd say in like maybe middle school. I used to think I was fat. And I was only like around like maybe like 110 pounds or something. And I used to sit there and cry to my friend, and like, oh, that, this and this and that, and I'd be like, no, you're not. So my point is, is that you can completely think something so negative about yourself, but other people could be thinking something completely different. You know, so get rid of those negative thoughts of yours. Even if some of them are true, it doesn't help. It's not going to build your confidence at all. Matter of fact, they're going to kill your confidence. Next six, find someone ugly and stand right next to them. Bam. Yeah, I feel better about myself. It only took me like five seconds. So ugly. I'm so pretty compared to this little dog. <sighs> Step seven, think positive even if it means think too positive. You know what I'm saying? So have positive thoughts. You know, tell yourself you're gorgeous. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, think so positive even if it means way too positive. Even if it means you gotta get a little cocky with yourself. If you're gonna go in a room and think to yourself, okay, I'm the baddest, I'm the baddest one in here. Just to make yourself feel good, go right ahead. You know, I mean, I'm not, don't say that crap out loud because people will look at you like, you know, a completely different creature, okay? It's not really, I personally don't think it's cute when girls are cocky because it's annoying and a lot of girls out there don't really have reasons to be, but it's just like, if that makes you feel better about yourself, go right ahead, say it in your head, you know? Tell yourself that you're the most beautiful girl in the entire world, you'll feel it, you'll feel something in your heart telling you you are, and then you'll you'll act as if you are, and then you know, you're, you're just gonna feel more confident. Just don't get cocky though, because I can't stand it, that gets in my nerves, you know, yeah. Step number eight. Be kind to people, you know? There are girls out there who are 100% beautiful, just like mind-blowing, but are like really cocky and rude to other people. And they can go from being so gorgeous to like effing ugly in five flipping seconds. I'll just be looking at her like, oh, she's so cute. And then she's like, I know. And then like get all cocky. I'm just like, oh, you're ugly. Get out of my face. You know, it's just like, there's nothing more beautiful than a girl who is not only beautiful, but nice. What's better than that? I can't think of anything better. If you can think of something better, please let me know right now because there is nothing better than someone who is good looking and nice and can treat people with respect. You know, so respect others. Even if you don't like that person, kill them with kindness. You know, smile in their face. Hey, you know, <laughs> I get it. I can get rude. Believe me, you do not want to get on my bad side. But at the same time, it's just like, life would be so much easier if you're positive. And I learned that myself too, because I myself used to be someone who was really negative and I still kind of have a negative attitude, but I do I do realize that I feel better about myself and about the world when I'm nicer, you know? And I really like helping people and that's why I make videos in the first place, because I like being nicer to people. Because one thing I learned in life is that being mean will not get you anywhere, I promise. 
I think this is step eight, I believe. If it isn't, I'm sorry. Be prepared for whatever you're doing for the day. You could simply be going to a party. You could be going, you know, you could be taking an exam. You know, when you have an exam, you have to have your pencils, you have to have your study guide, you have to have your calculator, whatever. Make sure you have everything so you're not paranoid throughout the day because that can ruin your confidence. Um, go into the grocery store, have your grocery list, have your car keys, have this, have that, bring your kid, whatever you gotta do for the day, just bring it with you so you're not paranoid thinking like, oh crap, I left something at home. Step nine, stay tall. And by that I mean like don't like, don't ruin your posture. You know, if you're slunching down like this, people are just gonna look at you like you, like I'm not gonna approach her. But if you're standing tall and you look confident, you kind of look like a nicer person to talk to and people will be more likely to come talk to you. Step 10, make a change with yourself. And this is something, this is really important. This is something that people don't do. And by that, I mean, do not sit around and complain. If you're like, oh, I'm fat, or oh, I have acne, oh my God. You know, like, do not sit there and complain. I am that person, believe me, don't be that person. So you need to do something about that. You, If you're complaining about your weight, go to the gym, drink some water, change up your diet a little bit. I'm not saying go out on a full out diet, but try to change up things a little bit. Maybe eat less sugar, drink more water, do something that's different and that can help. Um, if you're insecure about your skin, buy some face wash, you know, start moisturizing. There's so many things you can do. I might make another separate video on beauty tips, but right now we're focusing on confidence. Just do something with yourself instead of sitting there because that's something that I do all the time and it's not really a good thing. Okay guys, last but not least, last one I can give you guys is just simply love yourself. Some people really don't, but that's you just need to learn how to love yourself. I mean, you're going to be yourself for the rest of your life. You might as well love yourself. Do you want to spend the next, what, how old are you guys? Like 15, 16, 17, 18, like the next 60 years not loving yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like you only have one life. Even if we have more than one life, it's not like we know. So just spend this life right now loving yourself, okay? Okay. So this is the end of my video. I have nothing else to say to you guys. Just love yourself. Be happy. This video is over. Why are you still watching? Goodbye.